back there in the corner. Um, Adrian, Akara, and Lane, and me. Um, so you can start the playlist at home, guys. And when you get that going, everybody meet in hero's pose just like this. Just kind of settle in and create a little nest for you. And create your breath. Most important thing in the room is our breath. I'm just speaking about self-discipline. Yoga has all these wonderful tools. They're like little like surgeons' tools to help us kind of carve away all the parts that aren't aren't us. Like an artist or a, a um, sculptor would take a chisel and gently chip away all the things that are not the masterpiece. And that's pretty much what yoga is at its heart. If you feel like a little bit more stretch, you can walk the hands back here. And it's not a competition. Just go far enough. You just feel a little yumminess in the thighs. And if you tuck your butt forward, you're going to feel a little more yumminess. That's one of the things I'm doing for, um, I've got some hip impingement right now. And uh, I was just telling the gang here, uh, going through some physical therapy. And I don't really what to go through physical therapy, but it's something I need, need to be disciplined with. And that is one small example of self-discipline. Go into a place of discomfort temporarily in order to expand or grow or improve whatever word you'd like to put there. Take a few more breaths. Audible sound of your breath. A little magic pause at the top and the bottom of your breath. And let's come on up, please. Meet at tabletop. And breathe in, reach your right arm high up toward the ceiling. Maybe a little wrist roll or two. For, and exhale, thread it through. But hover here. Don't, don't land it yet. So... Hand and arm up off the mat. So Adrian, can you see? Yeah, just go as low as you can. Yeah, if I was your mirror, I'd be about my like this. Yeah, perfect. And go ahead and rest the arm down. All the way down, so reach over this way, perfect. And extend your left leg back. You can lift the leg up off the mat if you like or you can leave your toes on your mat. If your leg is up, invitation to bend the knee and reach up with your left hand and try to find the outside of your foot. If you fall over, it won't hurt and you'll probably smile. Did you smile, Wayne? <laughs> try to remain aware of your breath here. Breathe in. And exhale, release. Knee down, breathe in, reach your right arm, right arm high. Maybe another wrist roll or two. And hand down. We're just going to do one side of everything this week, and then come back next week, and we'll do the other side and catch you up. Breathe in, lift your left arm. Wrist roll if you like. And thread it through, but float it up off of your mat just a couple of inches, just hovering. So inviting us to use some core here. And release. Straighten your right leg. So Jeff, you can bring your arm down. Just, there you go. Invitation to lift the foot off the mat. Maybe bend the knee, reach up, find the foot. There will be some foot grabbing today. You're all even on both sides now, Lane. <laughs> One more breath in. And release. Breathe in, left arm up. 
Nice save there, Jeff. And exhale, hand down. Downward facing dog. Hands strong and spread. Legs and knees do whatever you like. And moving slower, we'll probably find little places that we didn't know were tight or needed a little love. And let's go ahead and settle into the dog. So it's more of an establishing of the posture. Press your heels down. And energetically try to lift your toes. They won't go very far. Adrian, that's amazing. Yeah, Lane. So you, if you do try to lift the toes, you'll notice a lot more awareness in the front of your legs and in your mind. And ragdoll, walk to the front of your mat. Wide enough stance that you feel supported and comfy. Ribs to thighs as much as possible. And if you bend your knees, it will make that a lot more possible. Relax your neck. So the very next niyama, after the one about self-discipline, tapas, is santosha, inviting us to to bring in contentment no matter what situation we're in. No matter what's going on around us, everything is perfectly all right. Bring your feet to where you like to practice. And soft knees help bring you up. Thumbs at your chest, your heart center. And I'd like you to close your eyes and reflect upon the time where you had to invest in some self-discipline, even though you really didn't want to do it. It could have lasted a week, could have lasted a year, could have lasted four years, for example, with a college degree or huge works, uh, huge projects at work. For me, a big one was uh, going through teacher training years ago. Took a lot of time and energy. A car over here teaches for us as well. She probably agrees with me. That was a big investment. And let's move, friends. Breathe in, mountain pose. Arms up. Lift your toes and press down with everything else so that you feel your kneecaps lift. Pull your bottom two front ribs into your body. Breathe in, spread your fingers. And exhale forward, full. Head's the last thing to come down. Breathe into a half lift. Let's take a few breaths here. So if you're sure your back is flat, a lot of times we press our uh, hands into our shins. But if you're sure your back can stay flat, you can slide the fingers down the shins further, and you're going to feel it more in the, the origin point of your hamstrings by your glutes. Breathe in here. Exhale to plank. So hold and breathe. Again, a little investment here. Create more space between your shoulder blades. Adrian, your back is so domed so beautifully. No bubbles under the hands. Hips as high as your shoulders. Jeff, I'd like to see your hips a little bit higher, buddy. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's it. Breathe in here. Exhale, lower down to your belly and point your toes back. For baby cobra, breathe in, lift your chest. Leverage into your toenails. This is one of my favorite postures. And it's all about effort, 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 effort. And like every second, every half second, I have to remind myself, keep putting the discipline, the effort into this posture. Breathe in. And exhale, release. Find your way to plank, however you'd like to get there. And exhale, down dog. Moving on, breathe in, lift your, excuse me, breathe in, look forward. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift, shoulder blade squeeze. Exhale, fold. Please lift your head first to mountain pose. So good, Lane. 
And exhale, forward fold, head's the last thing to come down. So keep looking up. Yes, Adrian. Breathe in, half lift. And exhale, right foot to the back, low lunge. Fingertips can stay on your mat. And if you're feeling a little extra spicy today, you can lift the fingers. Yeah, Adrian. Pull your left hip back. Try to create an upward facing dog sensation in your torso here. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to your mat and slide it back a couple of inches, please. This is going to get more yummy to, uh, into the hip flexors. Crescent moon, come on up. Hands can press into your thigh or you can reach your arms up. If your arms are up, rotate the pinkies toward each other. Jeff, do what I do. Perfect. So when the arms go up, the ribs want to poke out, so hug them back in. Lunge further forward and tuck your butt under and you'll get more of yumminess in the hip flexors. Breathe in here. Exhale, hands to mat. There's no half splits here. Breathe in, lift your knee. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, left foot back. And take a few breaths here. If you haven't already done it consciously, try to lift your left hip a little bit. Ribs in. If your fingers are off the mat, spread them so you get a tight palm. Breathe in, please. Exhale, set your knee down and slide it back. The further back it goes, the yummier this is going to feel. Breathe in, crescent moon. Same here. Tuck your glutes under. And the further your knee goes back, the safer it is for your kneecap and the hip flexor thing that we just spoke about. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to mat. Use your inhale to, bring, uh, to lift the knee. And exhale, forward fold. Listen to your inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Lift your head first, please. Breathe in mountain pose. That's it. So good, Jeff. Yes. Exhale, forward fold. Head's the last thing to come down. Helps keep your back flat. Breathe in, half lift. Same thing, only one breath. Exhale, right foot back, low lunge. And go ahead and set your knee down. One inhale brings you up. Exhale, touch down, hands to mat. Breathe in, lift your knee. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. One more side here. Exhale, left foot back, low lunge. Set your knee down. Breathe in, come up. Keep your ribs in. Exhale, hands to mat. Breathe in, lift your knee. Exhale, forward fold. Listen to your inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Breathe in here. Exhale, lower, excuse me, bring your knees down to your mat for tabletop. Walk your knees forward a little bit and breathe into cow pose and stay here, please. So this is your option. Instead of doing chaturanga to up dog all the time, this is a great option. Just bring the knees down and just get your back bend. And now try to keep some of your cow pose here as you press back to down dog. Yes, you probably felt that more in your hamstrings. Breathe in, lift your right leg. Listen carefully, keep the leg straight, keep the elbows straight. Your left elbow tends to bend here and bring the leg out to the right. Everything stays straight though, including elbows. So good, Lane. The leg out as far as you can to the right without bending your left elbow. 
On your inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, low lunge. Step through, we've been here before. And breathe in, right arm forward and then up. So we're creating this, um, these arm waves. Lift your left hip. Stretch the palm of your hand by spreading your fingers. Breathe in here. You're going to complete the circle. Exhale, hand back down to your mat. Complete the circle. And breathe in, crescent lunge. Looks great, guys. Press your heel forward, your back heel forward. If your ribs got lazy and kind of poked out, ask them to come back in a little. Right hip back. Audible sound of your breath is the most important thing in the room. That's great, great self-discipline to, to follow. Breathe in here. Exhale to warrior two. However, I'd like you to rotate your, your arm from the shoulder and bind the arm behind you. And as much as possible, try to flip the palm down. Yes. It's not going to go down for everybody. That, that's correct, Jeff. Shoulders over the hips. So sometimes we need to kind of bring the shoulders back. Point your front knee to the right. Exhale here. Reach forward. Breathe in, keep your bind, reverse warrior. So it's this really B flat, simple dancing and warrior series. We're just binding the back arm behind us. Continue to encourage your front knee toward the right. Try to rotate your libs, or libs, your ribs toward the left. I don't know what libs are. Breathe in here. Keep your bind. Exhale to extended side angle. So that we keep the bind. The arm stays behind us. Try to reach your fingers, your left fingers toward your right hip pocket. Breathe in, please. Exhale, side plank. It's a big step to so do what you can to get there with the breath. Plant your right hand down. Totally fine to bring the right knee down. And the shorter you can get your side plank, in other words, get your foot closer to your hand, it's, your hips will arc up easier and you're going to feel a lot lighter. Just two more breaths. Tighten the palm of your hand by squeezing the fingers or spreading them out. Breathe in. So strong, guys. Exhale, hands to your mat. Plank. Breathe in. Shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga or tabletop. Breathe in to your back bend. And exhale, down dog. That's our flow. Breathe in, left leg. Exhale, bring it out to the side. Straighten your right elbow. It tends to want to cheat a little bit here. Spread your toes, spread your toes, spread your toes. On the inhale, come back to center. And exhale, step through to low lunge. Breathe in, left arm forward and then up. Pull your left hip back. Back to the discipline of the breath. And the, the soft breath also brings the contentment as well. It reminds the body that can relax. It reminds the joints, the tendons, the mind to relax. And breathe in here. Exhale, complete the circle. And our left hand down. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Take a little audit of your lower back, and if you feel any tightness down there, 
just tuck your butt under a, a little bit or maybe offer a little bend in the back knee. Ribs in. On your next exhale, bound warrior two. And remember to rotate from the shoulder when we bind instead of just throwing the arm back. Yes, guys. And again, the backhand, try to flip the palm down. Perfect. Let's prepare with an exhale. And inhale, reach forward and flip the palm for your bound reverse warrior. Press into the blade edge of your back foot. Ground into the knuckle of your front big toe. Prepare with your inhale. Exhale, bound, half bound, side angle. So for some of us, the fingers can land on the thigh here. I've got longer arms myself, so it makes that a little bit easier. And if you do that, you can squeeze your thigh like a car is doing. And notice she's like, we've got this really nice thin plane in her posture. She's twisting her ribs to the right. Breathe in here. And exhale, make it back to side plank. And hands closer to the feet really does help this. It's a little bit of a cheat, and I'm okay with that. Gives us more control when the hips are higher. Two more breaths. Whenever you exhale next, hands down. Breathe in, shift forward. Exhale, tabletop or chaturanga. Breathe into up dog or any back bend. And exhale, a down dog. And we'll flow that, guys. Breathe in, lift your right leg. Exhale, out to the side. Breathe into center. Exhale, step through. Breathe in, right arm forward and up. Exhale, complete the circle. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, rotate from the shoulder. So the arms back behind you, that's it. Bind your back arm behind you. And breathe in, reverse warrior, keep your hand where it is. And exhale, extended side angle. Keep the left hand behind you. Breathe in, press through the knife edge of your back foot. And exhale, step back to side plank. I know it's not the comfortable, most comfortable thing to flow into. Breathe in, lift anything you like, your arm or your leg. And exhale, hand down. Breathe in, shift forward. Exhale, tabletop or chaturanga. Breathe into your appropriate back bend. And exhale, down dog. Breathe in, lift your left leg, spread your toes. Exhale, leg to the side. Breathe in, back to center. Exhale, step through. Use the inhale, left arm forward and then up. Exhale, complete the circle. Arm goes back and then down. Nice. Breathe in, come on up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two with your back arm behind you. Breathe in, reach and reverse. Exhale, half bound side angle. Breathe in here. Exhale, make it to side plank. It's only one breath. Breathe in, lift your arm or maybe your leg. And exhale, hands down. So nice. Breathe in to tabletop or chaturanga as you 
That was a sloppy breath cue, I apologize. One more time each side, breathe in, lift your right leg. Keep your elbows straight and bring the leg out to the right. Breathe into center. Exhale, step through. Breathe in, right arm forward and then up. Exhale, circle it back down. Breathe in, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Bind your arm behind you. Breathe in, reach and reverse. Exhale, half bound side angle. Breathe in here. Exhale, side plank. Make it a shorty, it's a lot easier. Breathe in, lift anything you like. Exhale, plank. Breathe in, shift forward. Exhale, tabletop or chaturanga. Breathe into your back bend. And exhale, down dog. Way to get that toe roll in, Lane. Breathe in, lift your left leg, straighten your right elbow. Exhale to the side. Breathe into center. Exhale, step through. Listen to your inhale as you reach the left arm forward and up. Exhale, circle it back down. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, back arm behind you. Breathe in, reach and reverse. And exhale, extended side angle with your bind. Step back to side plank, last time for now. Breathe in, lift anything. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga or tabletop. Breathe in to your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. And big breath in, lift your heels. And exhale, bring your knees down to your mat. So I'm not sure at home when you'll be seeing this, but today's date is February 5th, and we're in Kansas City. And... Uh, the next week is going to be really cold. You guys know that, right? Yeah. I mean, really cold. Like, it's going to get down to zero a few nights, and then, like, four, five, six below. So, what... Akara, what's your favorite soup? On a, never mind, I just gave away the joke. <laughs> We're making alphabet soup today, guys. <laughs> Have a seat, stand your legs out in front of you. I was going to trick her and say, what's your favorite food on a really cold day? And most people say soup. And so this is what alphabet soup looks like. <laughs> Get in the view here. Everyone lift your right leg and make the letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this is hard, H, I, that's, that's great, you can, you can cheat, J, don't forget the little dot, K, L, M is a hard one, N is half as hard, oh, my hip flexors, P, Q, you can lean back, it helps, it makes it a little bit easier. R, you take a break anytime. S, T, U, V, W is a hard one. X is kind of weird. Why is he making me do this? And Z, other side. Whew. Lift your left foot. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I with the dot, J with the dot, K, L, 
M, it's okay to rest. N. Oh, I would be resting. Uh, where we are? P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y and Z. Meet in hero's pose and help your hip flexors to rest uh, after asking them to, to do so much work. Just, just sit on your heels or between your heels. And you can walk back as far as you like once more. So you can go back as far as you like, unless your ribs poke out. We would rather that not happen. And so would your lower back. Talk your butt forward for three more breaths. And go ahead and walk on up. And meet in down dog, please. And let's have a little fun here. Breathe in, lift your right leg. Next, you'll try to lift your left hand. I'll give you a hint. If you shorten your stance, you can get your heel down. It makes this easier. A car, that's amazing. If you want to play here, you can bend the right knee and try to find it with the left hand. Super strong, Akara. Yeah, Jeff. This is a wobbly one for everybody. And let's go to the other side, guys. Just a little play time. Left leg up, right arm up. Maybe you just wobble right there. And once again, if you take a shorter stance and get the heel on the mat, it's going to make this easier. Just about five more seconds to play here. And down dog. Walkie walkie to the top mat. Touch your big toes together. And on your inhale, rise the chair. And exhale, prayer twist over to your right. Even your knees out. If your wrists are tender, it helps if you make a cup with the top hand and a fist with the bottom hand. That's going to take some pressure off of your wrist. Two more breaths. We're getting ready for one leg mountain with the left knee up. So exhale, prepare. Breathe in single leg mountain. Eagle your left arm under the right. And extend your leg straight out in front of you. you. Try to bring it out to the left. You're going all the way back to warrior three with eagle arm. Try to create a little bit of a back bend here. A car that was beautiful. Exhale here. Breathe in one leg mountain. And dancer, find the inside of your left foot. So if that hurts your shoulder, like it does for a few of us, it has been me for six months. Um, it turns out I have bursitis in both shoulders, which uh, physical therapy is helping a lot. But if that does hurt your shoulder, you can find it in your foot from the outside. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, one leg mountain, and exhale, forward fold. 
Breathe in the half lift, shoulder blades squeeze toward each other. And exhale, tabletop or chaturanga. Breathe into your back bend. And exhale, downward dog. Other side. Look forward, make it to the front of your mat, however you like. That's nice soft landings, guys. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe into chair. And hands to heart. Exhale, twist to your left. Try to breathe deeply here. It helps and twist, at least it helps me, to um, exhale a little bit deeper so I can make room for a deeper inhale. Right hip back. Slide your hips toward the, direc the direction you are facing. Get heavy in your left foot. And use your inhale to lift your right knee. Eagle your right arm under the left. Keep the chest lifted. Let's straighten the leg out and point, press through the heel. And bring the leg out as high as you can toward the right and eventually bound eagle or a bound airplane. Use your toes, spread them out. Prepare with your exhale. Breathe in a single leg mountain. And dancer, find the inside of your right foot. And start with your right shoulder forward and try to keep this right shoulder forward. And for me, the power in this posture is my kicking leg. The more firmly I push my foot into the hand, the more steady I feel. But it's the, the, the discipline of the investment because we prefer to be content and not work too hard. But it's really not all that hard of work. Exhale, prepare. Breathe in single leg mountain. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in the half lift. And exhale, chaturanga or your tabletop. Breathe into up dog and exhale down dog. And we're just going to do this um, kind of abbreviated instead of a long flow into it because it's a, an express class. So uh, everyone come down to your knees to tabletop. And we're going to a, a version of it. It's called Kapinjalasana. It's, a, it's basically a side plank dancer. So one way to do this is to have your, your knee down, lift your leg, and find the foot. If you want to try the full version, it's a side plank. Lift the foot, try to find it. This is a really rocky posture. And press your foot into your hands. As you see, I just fell out of that. So it's not necessary to go to or the full version. It's called Kapinjalasana or Partridge Pose. And when you're done, you're done. And go back to an embryo pose for a few breaths. Give the shoulders a little break here. Just a few breaths though. Arms back behind you. And come on back up to tabletop. And we'll try the other side. Knee can be down. Works, works totally fine. Lift the leg. Try to find the foot. All right, Adrian, make that look, look kind of easy. Yeah, Jeff. So same mechanism, if you push the foot into your hand, it's going to change how you feel the posture. 
And come on down, guys. One more brief embryo posture. Shoulders resting. And come on up, please. Lie down on your back. For a supine pigeon. Right ankle on top of your left thigh. Flex your toes, and you can go to any depth of this you like. Some of us like to interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. It's really, as in all the postures, it's really not necessary to go in as deep as we possibly can. A lot of times in this posture, I, I'll just hang out and leave my arms on the floor. And go ahead and switch sides, please. Just if we practice often, um, you guys know that we become more and more comfortable within discomfort that we create, we recognize the contentment in a posture that maybe is not attainable today. And that's, it's not important if it is. And what's more, more important is what we cultivate mentally and emotionally. The physical will take care of itself. And if you practice in our warm studios, there are billions of people on earth that can't imagine that we like practicing in a hot, humid room. And we're not only content there, we thrive in it, right? And release. Give your knees a squeeze. And supine twist to extend your left leg. And roll over to your left hip. It usually feels good to slide the hips over to the right a little bit here. Because we're trying to create a position where we, we don't have to work to stay in the position. Or work as little as possible. And sometimes the self-discipline that we were speaking about, sometimes it takes a lot of discipline to be still. Well, a lot of times we think of discipline as do, 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 do. But what if the discipline was more about be? So human being, not human doing. And come on back to center, however you like. And switch legs, straighten your right leg. Give it a squeeze. And roll over to your right hip. And if you, if you haven't tried it before, try sliding your hips over to the left a bit. Soft eyes, soft belly. And uh, in a sometimes tumultuous world, it can take a lot of discipline to stay soft. And come back to center, please. Give it the knee squeeze. Final one for practice in Shavasana. We're going to go over about two minutes. I apologize, guys.
Elevate your heart by walking your shoulder blades closer together. Lift your hips and tuck your butt forward. Soft throat. And I'll bring you out in a while. So, and I'd like to close today in a little bit different way. We were talking about how it can be quite challenging to just be still for a while, to be instead of do. You know, for me, I do it first thing in the morning because I know that if I don't do it then, it's going to be easier to make excuses for not doing it later. And so we're going to close a little bit different today. You can stay right where you are as long as you like in your Shavasana. And I'll walk out of the physical room that we're in here and I'll end the broadcast here. And wish you a wonderful day, guys. Namaste.